One of the most popular Marvel heroes and arguably superheroes ever, Wolverine has been around for decades. And in that time, like most heroes, he has definitely gone through a change or two within his publication time. But some of the things always remained the same, such as his famous claws, healing factor, and adamantium skeleton. But what if Wolverine were to have a power up? One while cool seemingly fell into obscurity short after its introduction. Well, look no further than this video. Let me explain to you how Wolverine gained and lost his heat claws. Now, in the story arc, Return of Wolverine, Wolverine was resurrected. And before you go asking yourself, how could he be resurrected? I thought he couldn't die. Well, in the previous story, The Death of Wolverine, Wolverine was infected by a certain virus, which not only slowed his healing factor, but made his adamantium mess up within his body and concluding with it literally suffocating him. Anyways, after his death, he was seemingly revived by an unknown entity. And after waking up in a random laboratory, he had no memory or recollection of what happened or what was going on since his death. All he knows is injuries he should easily be able to shake off aren't healing as fast or as efficient. And he somehow has these very hot claws with no idea how or where they came from. And after saving and rescuing a young woman who was on the look for her son, Wolverine decides to help her out as he has nothing better to do right now with no memories or recollection on who he is. But she seems to know the legends of the Wolverine. So they set off to an island where she thinks her son might be. But unfortunately, they're being chased by the entities and people from the laboratory who captured him in the first place. And as they're on the boat, a battle ensues with Wolverine not having his memories, but still his instinct and fighting potential as he pops his claws and gets ready for a battle before one of them who looks like Omega Red gets shot by a harpoon by the woman, leaving just a 1v1 now. But as Wolverine taunts him saying, you didn't bring enough claws, pal. The masked agent pops his claws, giving Wolverine pause for a quick second before the battle actually starts and they jump towards each other. And as the other warrior gets the first strike on Wolverine, it seems his injuries aren't healing as fast as they should be and he's still bleeding. And as they keep fighting, their battle starts to rip their armor and Wolverine sees markings on this masked individual, slowly starting to recognize who this might be. But for a second, his mind slips out of the fight, letting the individual get the upper hand on him and pin him to the ground. And with this, he starts to get angry and his claws start to glow red with heat. So after kicking the individual off, he sees a fuel line, which he cuts. And in a really smart move by Wolverine. Now taking a pause real quick from the actual story, I see people all the time saying Wolverine how he's a fighting machine, but isn't very smart. Well, that might be true for book smart. His battle IQ is very high. After having lived hundreds of years and studied virtually every martial art, and fought thousands upon thousands of times. You put him in any battle situation, and nine times out of 10, he'd have the advantage. But anyways, after he grabs the fuel line, he cuts it and starts spraying it on his opponent before putting his supercharged claws in front of it, creating a beam of fire, roasting his opponent alive. As you can then see the flesh being torn from his opponent's skin before Wolverine stabs and throws him off board. But unfortunately for the woman on board, he is in his famous berserker state. So with him having these claws, think of the Hulk, how when Bruce Banner gets angry, he hawks out and transforms. So when Wolverine gets angry and goes into a sort of berserker mode, his claws start to glow with heat and power. But unfortunately, in his berserker mode, this is where he gets his dumb animal-like persona, wildly attacking without much thought or strategy. Anyways, he gains his senses and spares the woman. And as they make it to the island, the other X-Men finally catch drift of Wolverine's arrival and resurrection. And after a series of events and them being on the island, the X-Men do arrive, but Logan has no real recollection of them or memories as a member of the X-Men team. So a battle ensues with Logan fighting a lineup of Nightcrawler, Kitty Pride, Jean Grey, Iceman, and Storm. As he first approaches Nightcrawler, he draws him close before lunging at him. And obviously as Nightcrawler can teleport, he in no way gets even close to hitting him until he notices a pattern up, down, back, left, and then up again, in which he catches Nightcrawler off guard. And he would have killed him if he didn't retract his claws last second simply knocking him out before moving on to Jean Grey, planning to take her out too. Well, that is until Iceman come and freezes him. And we all know Iceman, who is an Omega level mutant capable of mass destruction and power. And with Wolverine normally having no real way to get out of an attack like this, as you can't really swing your claws if your whole body is frozen solid, he starts to get angry within his current circumstance, as you can literally see the more animalistic features on his face. With that, his claws start to heat up, sizzling the ice, with Bobby saying, just calm down, Logan, before Logan literally breaking out of the ice, 
cutting that same omega level mutant straight in half. But yeah, you can clearly see Logan's heat claws are powerful and just an upgrade with what some people might say a broken power set. But you might be asking, why don't we see these claws more often or what happened to them? Well, the out of universe reason, they didn't really stick with the audience. Fans weren't really happy. The gimmick didn't stick. And so with that, as the story continued, as later issues were published and books being brought out, it kind of just fell into the wayward of obscurity with no real in-universe reason as to why he doesn't have his heated claws anymore. But now you might be asking yourself, yeah, that's cool and all, and I understand his heated claws and why he doesn't have them. But how did he even get them in the first place? Well, when he was resurrected, the explanation was it was basically a long dormant ability that when resurrected, his body got overclocked and overcharged with energy. With an example being his healing factor, but with his new excess amount of energy in his body, it manifested itself into supercharged, heated claws, which paired with adamantium made a devastating duo, even if only short lived. Now, yeah, the explanation is a little wonky and doesn't make total sense, but hey, that's what we got. And the only downsides to using the claw or when he goes into his berserker state is his healing factor gets slowed meaning he takes more damage and gets hurt longer which can be a good or bad thing depending on who's he fighting but yeah that's the gimmick of his hot claws which lasted relatively short what do you think about it though would you like to see this type of power up come back do you even think wolverine needs a power up as he already is one of marvel's best fighters let me know all below thanks for watching